the easy structure. We have come a long way to understand this very important structure that can uh, arise in a wide range of very important openings. And now we're going to take the next step, or we're going to begin on the next step on how to achieve world class in this structure. Know what maybe even the best players in the world don't know. How do we uncover the secrets of the easy structure, uh, establishing some sound good rules to follow uh, so you will always know what you're doing and what you should aim for because most players when they know what they're doing what to aim for they will play much much better so this is the aim of this uh, video and i'm gonna need your help because i don't have the time and i'm not that good at this what we're going endeavor we we need to 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 uh, to start uh to get to world class on the easy structure as you remember the easy structure is is the one where uh usually black oops just a second uh usually black here is is having uh these two missing and white is having these two missing um the thing is um that we have we've seen that sometimes white's majority we haven't actually not looked so much at the majority uh, for white uh, but we've seen how white can win how black can win that uh, endings probably favor black a little bit uh, a little bit about uh, the different plans and uh, that white often have to play very energetically and black should try to to not uh, give any concessions and if he avoids that he's he's uh, often more than fine and so on the thing is what we have not looked so much at is which pieces to exchange, which pieces to keep, where to castle, and so on. So, what I want you to do now, and I will write it in the notes, what we could look at, uh, is to, uh, if you have a chess base, you will uh, make a new database with uh, this uh, constellation of uh, pawns pawns on uh, with with four uh, black pawns here uh, like like here we're gonna make them yellow and and here uh, maybe not on these squares only and uh, whites on uh, having these pawns here and then to try and search for different piece configurations and uh, and then when you have done that, for instance, we could take if you take the knight, the ending, it could be uh, rook and uh, knight versus rook and knight with this easy structure. So you find all the games uh, with with the easy structure and that constellation uh, where everything else is exchanged, all the bishops exchanged and so on. And then you look at the stats and you look at the plans and you see who do better. And then we try to establish some rules about this. For instance, uh, even Sokolov, who was, uh, who's, I think is doing a little bit of this uh, in, in some of his, 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 his very very good uh, books um, said that uh, for instance for the majority the queen side majority to to be dangerous uh, you probably need a knight and that's the kind of information we are after so uh, for instance i have the idea that uh, the structure is better for white the more pieces are on the board uh, and uh, is is uh, getting better for black the the more that i exchange that's also why it seems like for instance in the french rubinstein black is always trying to exchange everything uh, and that's not to achieve a draw it's just that position gets a little bit better for him every time he exchanges something so you have to go away from the exchange so this is the work we need to be that need to be done a uh, big database with the easy structure try different things saying okay what happens if white castle queen side black castle king side who wins what's the stats what's the plan that wins and so on to try to make some rules this is how you achieve world class status there an understanding of the structure there's no one who i, I to, to my knowledge that have done this yet so it will be groundbreaking uh, research uh, on on a very high level uh, and i hope we can uh, we, we will get some contribution from you out there who has been following the ec structure masterclass so far okay let's finish uh, this video with a short uh, but nice game where we see black castle queen side we have not seen that yet so this is the french uh, taras with c5 and e takes 
queen takes this is one of the the surest way to get to the easy structure and and uh, i can recommend this line for black it's it's kind of good this game was played in 1998 uh, and back then black played the queen on d6 nowadays he put the queen on i'm just gonna show you uh, here uh, to not put in this bishop uh, because it's usually always on route here, but you might as well have the possibility to, to get the bishop out. Um, anyway, bishop queen here, that's what they did back then. Castle is also, this is still the main line. And um, by the way, if white takes with the queen here, uh, I can definitely recommend going over some black games. Uh, we have seen uh, black in, in another video. He is doing excellently with black in uh, in this ending uh, s sort of really showing the way on how black should play uh, these uh, kind of structures and i was uh, i was thinking about making a video but then i said okay we, we cannot keep uh, beating the dead horse here so we have to to get moving uh, but in general uh, look at the, look at the game by black in this structure and you will learn something uh, but queen takes is 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 not the critical line uh, of course it's uh, Knight takes a6 is they can you can also play b7 d7 they've gone away from that uh, rook e1 makes a lot of sense black e white is is playing uh, this way queen c7 and I hear uh, we, Nikolai played uh, bishop b3 I think why should play queen e oops queen e2 not this move um, covering the the bishop and and get ready to push this to prevent stuff from happening on the uh, queen side. Um, instead, he played this move. I played this move, uh, which was probably a little bit surprising for Nikolai uh, because uh, this is not the most common move. I think the main line here is something like like this, uh, with a very very sharp position where um, where you go, you can go here and and here and here. I think this is, is simply losing uh, due to this move and. I think I think it's something like this. I'm not sure. Uh, and and white is winning. Um, but uh, this this is all theory. But this was uh, was also uh, it's it's not a bad move and uh, prevents uh, avoid all this stuff because now there's knight f5 is is not threatening anything. The bishop is is coming d7. And Nikolai was hoping for that. Still c3 here. Um, and with the bishop here, this. Gains a lot of uh, momentum because if uh, if black white goes here, you take here, and then of course you castle this side, uh, and and this looks very dangerous for uh, for for white. Uh, so nobody has has decided to go. So here Nikolai played ace free, and uh, black is already a little bit happy because uh, ace free it's is is also it's a hook. Where you can lend your attack on, and uh, Kurt was a strong player, not uh, not afraid of anything. Uh, he decided just to castle. Uh, by the way, this game was played later than the game I lost against Kurt. Uh, so Nikolai was was well prepared for what Kurt did against me, uh, and then Kurt just changed a little bit and castle queenside, and Nikolai was on his own. Um, queen e2. Uh, I think you can also go to f3 uh, to to have some knight f5, king b8. You better get the the, the king out of the uh, queen out of the way and a4. And one of the ideas behind this could be something like knight b5 and to open the a5, but it could also be uh, a5 and and maybe have a bishop here and and threaten you to go here. Uh, also, sometimes you want to exchange the bishop because the bishop is not doing that much here. Uh, it's an interesting position. How uh, well? White has some options here. You can a4 exchange this, maybe get the, the rook in here, maybe sometime put the pawn here. So it seems like white is ahead, but black also have some ideas here, and um, and this one is one of them. Um, and that's a very, very, very nice move. Uh, and I seen, I think I've seen uh, Keith Arkel uh, likes to, to, to get this pawn going a lot in in, in similar structure uh, Nikos uh, my, my Greek uh, strong theoretical friend uh, told me that uh, this is, is the plan he he advocates in um, in Arkel's endings uh, and and this kind of cool uh, it's also even in the ending it can be 
quite good here we have a, a strong middle game uh, a, a previous game went uh, went differently uh, it went some like this and uh, and after this and this was an Adams game and black of course has this plan then this move uh, makes sense now the bishop is is not coming here uh, attacking uh, uh, the knight and and this this one is under control and so on and after this uh, Black is already uh, under pressure, and I would definitely like white here. Um, I think they, they, it ended up to draw or something like this, but but something like uh, like this definitely uh, looks like white is having a better attack than black. Uh, so, and this this was Adams Akobian. Uh, white is, is better, but it was a draw anyway. Akobian is one of the good players with black in the structure. You can check out his games. You want also want a game against me. Um, but of course, this is much better. The bishop is better here. It, it better not decide to go here or here. Uh, so rook uh, g8 and 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 here Nikolai panicked completely. I don't know what 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 he was thinking uh, because he plays this move, which makes not much sense. I think the idea is to go uh, knight b5. Uh, I'm sure the, the idea is to go knight b5, take take, and then uh be ready to to swing in with the rook here and uh the problem is it doesn't <laughs> that's too bad um it it simply does not work so after this move uh well white is already on the ropes this uh, attack is coming um it's threatening here and after this move d3 and i'm sure we can see that, that this position is good for black uh for sure so f3 move and uh and, and nikolai realized that his attack with knight b5 just does not work so it's it's just too bad um and he had to go here and, and after this move uh, and black is is simply uh, ready to uh, he needs to to put this queen on this square that's his plan it's not so easy when this pawn is dividing everything and this is coming right And that's nothing to do, just uh, attack um, here. And black just played. I think uh, in the in notes, I think uh, Donov or something says this wins now. Uh, it's probably correct. Um, don't know. I think what he did was, was pretty good as well. Uh, of course, this is coming and what to do about that. Uh, and here of course this was the plan all along knight coming in attacking the queen queen can go wherever it wants and now rook d2 this is simply um you could also if if for instance what goes here then this is yeah this is coming and i don't know what to do here I think this is Peterson has this note. Uh, and now instead of this move, you just go this and and this will be checkmate and notice this rook is, is pretty good here. So a very nice attack. Rook A2 was of course a big mistake, but uh, but this this plan is, is worth uh, noting. Um, it could also be interesting to have stats on that. I hope one of you or many of you uh, decide to, uh, to, to try and, and use your chase space uh, statistics skills and, uh, and are for the task of trying to improve the whole crowd's understanding of uh, this structure. This is, doing this kind of work is, is the thing that really can move you a lot as a chess player. Uh, this was TM Talks. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day. And remember to like, subscribe and all that stuff. Bye bye.